Hey guys. So I did get another comment on one of my videos. And she will be getting the runner-up prize. You know who you are. Um, I do want to do a couple short videos with the Lawn Fawn haul and the stuff I got from Simon Says Stamp. But I wanted to do the unboxing of the Simon Says Stamp kit because it came yesterday. So we're going to do that. So I was going to order this when I tried to order the Hero Arts kit for this month and it sold out. This was one of the items that I was going to order from them. So rather than order it from Hero Arts and, you know, have two separate orders coming, I just ordered it to come with my card kits. I can't wait to see how this works. I mean, from the examples on the cards that they showed on the website this month for Hero Arts for the card kit, it looked really cool. So I'm excited to try that. And then another thing I got that that's not coming the kit, I bought this on the side, is the wonky rectangles. Now I've seen a lot of people use, I don't know if it's these, but it's something similar to this. And I thought these were really cute. So I think this is actually the first die set that I've ever bought from Simon Says Stamp. So we'll see. Oh, look, it even has the word wonky. That's so cute. So we'll see how it works. I'll let you guys know. Maybe we'll use it on one of the cards for this kit. Okay. On to the kit. I don't have a clue. Do not remember what came in this kit, to be honest with you. I had so much stuff going on lately, and then we tried to go get a campsite to go camping for Memorial Day weekend. Let's just say if you want to camp on a holiday weekend, don't try to do it last minute. They are completely booked. Everywhere that I looked in New York State, you know, near us was completely booked. So I'm on a, a wait list in case somebody cancels. So I'm a little disappointed with that because once I get my mind set on something, especially camping, I want to do it. <clears throat> At this point, I'm desperate enough if it's nice to even set up a tent in the backyard and camp with the kids. We could do it. We're surrounded by woods on two, two sides of our house. So, okay, let's see what we got here. Your inspiration sheet. I have to say I really love some of these sheets now. I have a wedding coming up, or some of these cards next month for my cousin and I was just going to give her one of the cards I made with a previous Simon Says stamp kit the one with all the wedding papers in it during the summer but I actually think I might try to make her a card out of this kit because I, I really really like it I do remember it now now that I have it open okay so we have <clears throat> the beautiful flowers six by eight clear stamp set that is large I don't know what's with the large stamp sets lately from them but I like it let's see if we can fix this camera just a little bit okay oops okay so we have the large flower bouquet three separate flowers and then happy loved joy beautiful Wishing you, on your day, sending lots of, from all of us, you are so, birthday, and kind, to me, you are so much your way. Love and hugs, you are a treasure to me. Thanks, happy birthday. There are a lot of words on the stamp set, guys. There, I mean, you could make quite a few phrases. And inside sentiments also. I could see myself doing the front and inside of a card with these sentiments and separate words. <clears throat> okay. We have the Tim Holtz Sizzix Botanical 3D Texture Fades Embossing Folder. Can't wait to try this. My mother. <laughs> My mother. 
Just found out today or Sunday that my mother actually is into Tim Holtz items also, which I did not know. Um, now she's forwarding me emails and stuff asking me if I got them and I told her, I said, actually, I'm excited to try it. It's in my kit this month and she was all upset because I had it. So, sorry, mom, maybe I'll let you borrow it. Let's take a look at this real quick. I'm curious because honestly, I hadn't even heard about this until I saw it in the kit video. Three D embossing folder. Wow, guys, look at that! I don't know if you can get. Let me turn another light on here. My light in the ceiling's acting funky again. That is quite thick, and that is really cool. I really like that. So that's that. You can't really see the there you go can you see it now okay so we have that and it's got the instructions as always on the inside to tell you how to layer it in your machine so uh kind of wishing that the stamp set would have came with some ink cubes because I see some really pretty colors on especially on the one card with the blue flowers that says happy birthday alas it did not that looks like a really pretty color too I'll show you guys in a second hold on so I'm just glancing at it as I try to not look at this while I'm trying to put it in the package that's always smart right here um, I don't even know what color that is, but it's a hybrid ink. Oh, Blue J, Blue J, hybrid ink cube, and it's Blue J, it looks like. But that looks like a really pretty color. Okay, and then we get a one ounce bottle of the Tim Holtz Distress Resist Spray. I am so excited to use this. I did watch his video on this, and I do also remember him saying, when you use it, use it in a box a big box oh look my light came back on so i will keep that in mind and you guys should too if you don't want it everywhere spray it in a box and actually i kept a box as soon as i saw that video specifically for this purpose and it's under my table right over there okay and then we have 12 single-sided sheets of Moda Scrap Fly and Scrap 6x6 paper pack. So it sounds like 12 single-sided sheets. Oh, it is. Look at that. I was going to say maybe it's not the whole paper pack, but maybe there's more. Maybe you could order it separate. But I don't know, guys, because it looks like this is how it came. 12 sheets, 12 designs, so we get the whole back. I mean, you could even use the, the front paper. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah, that is really pretty. I mean, from what I saw in the video, a lot of these could be used as cards on their own. That's nice. I love these colors, guys. They're really, really pretty. Air balloon. Oh, that's cool. I like that. These colors are just beautiful. And some pretty flowers. I have no idea what type of flowers those are, but they're really pretty. That's really pretty, too. You're going to hear me say that's really pretty for 12 sheets. Probably. Oh, that's cute. I don't know. Uh, there's something about the way the black is in there. It kind of throws the rest of the colors off. I mean, I know it's supposed to be the center of the flower. I don't know. It's still pretty, but it's, it's not as shocking with the colors as the other sheets are. Oh, that one's pretty, too, with the blues. 
And actually, I like blue more than I like purple, but that purple one with the hot air balloon, that was just stunning. This one is too, but I don't know. There's something about the purple. That's really pretty. This kind of reminds me of one of those ink splat pictures. You know what I'm talking about? I kind of like see some type of picture going on right in there. That's really pretty though. Some feathers. With some splatters of color. Ooh, that's pretty. That's different. You see all those blues and purples, and then you see the sheet with mostly pink. It's different. A little bit of green in there. Darker pink. And then this one. That's really pretty with the village. Not my favorite, but it is kind of cool. Okay. So that's it for the Moda Scrap Paper Pack. And then we have a Simon Says Stamp ex exclusive watercolor sample palette featuring Daniel, S Daniel Smith watercolor paints. I'm sorry, guys. And then we have, I have no idea how to say that word, guys. Qu quinacridone? Quinacridone Red? And then we have Aurelian cobalt yellow and Prussian blue. So your primary colors. And you can mix them to make a couple different ones, secondary colors. One each of Simon Says stamp envelopes in metallic corn flower. And I think we got one of these last month or the month before too, which I just used for Mother's Day. And I think this color is really pretty. And then metallic white. And then one custom Simon Says Stamp watercolor card designed by Susie Plantamura. She's actually the one that made this inspiration card. She made this one too with the watercolor card. Goodbye winter. So long snow. It's time to watch the flowers grow. That's cute. And then we have one sheet of Tonic Gold Pearl Mirror Card Satin Effect. And that is for the texture fades or anything you want, really. And that's really pretty. That's cool. And then we have one Simon Says Stamp 120 White Card Stack right here. I love the Simon Says Stamp 120 Pound Card Stack. I love it. I don't know if... I'm probably not going to make that a card base, though. So. Because I love using it as my paper on the base. I don't know what you would call that. Um, one each of Simon Says Stamp 100 pound card stocks in cornflower blue. And smoke. And peacock. So, peacock. And I'm pretty sure peacock's a new color. Smoke, cornflower. The gold tonic paper and the 120 pound white Simon Says Stamp card set. A lot of nice things in this kit, guys. I I really can't wait to use it. Uh, I was backed up on kits because I went on vacation. Plus, I have the hauls of lawn fine items and etc. Now, I'm probably not going to do a card kit video with the last Hero Arts kit I got because if I can even find where I put it. I just got done using it, guys, to make my daughter's uh, birthday invitations. So, I figured this kit. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. I mean, maybe I'll do one card down the line, but I just made eight invitations. They were all the same, but different. Um, if my daughter still has one at home, I'll show it on the next video real quick, but I'm going to skip this card kit for now, unless you guys comment that you would like me to make some cards. And I'm going to move on to the Simon Says Stamp. This kit, first I'm going to do a, at least one card with something from the haul. Then I'm going to do this kit, because I definitely have to do it if I want the wedding card for my cousin's wedding. Then I'll go to last month's Simon Says Stamp Kit that I haven't even gotten 
got to use yet. And then we'll see if I can catch up. So you guys let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're not a subs subscriber. And hopefully now that my vacation's over toward until the end of the summer, I can do some more videos. I have not, to tell you the truth, gotten into looking into the editing yet. I'm hoping to get some help with that. Um, until then, I'll just have to keep doing it the way I've been doing it. I'm not going to deprive you guys of videos. You know, if I have to show you one card with the process of how I made it and then just show you the other cards I already made or whatever or breaking up into three videos, however you guys think I should do it. If you have an idea, please comment. Feel free. Um, please use that notification button. Um, the runner-up prize is going to be going out this week. But I would like to do more giveaways now. I'd like to do a monthly giveaway. So subscribe hit the notification button so you you'll know when i i'm doing a giveaway plus see my other wonderful videos have a great day guys see you soon bye bye